Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, we're finally on the water for the 2021 walleye season. Hey friends, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, leave us a comment down below. Thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Well, hey, I finally had an opportunity on Saturday, March 20th, to get out for my first time on the water for the 2021 season. Hey, it was brutal conditions. It was freezing cold at 29 degrees when we launched. Water temperature up and down the rivers, under 37 degrees in the morning. It was just, it was a grind. Water color is terrible. So we had cold, muddy water. We ran up and down the upper stretch of the river. That was a chilly run. Looking for cleaner water. Couldn't find cleaner water. Couldn't find warmer water. It was just an absolute grind. We haven't seen any place where there's warmer water. What's the temperature? 36. So we can't find any warmer water and we're not finding much for cleaner water. Not as dirty here as it was by the bridge, but still nasty water. I think that's the biggest part of our struggle right now. North of us. Well, I bet you that dirty water just filtered in here. Got fish? Yep. What? <laughs> Little male, he's got some got some baby juice coming out. Nice. No color to him whatsoever in this dark water. No. Pretty though. But we got a fish in the boat. <laughs> Good enough for now. Friends, I believe that most people at some point in their life find themselves questioning, what is my purpose in life? What am I even on the planet for? Friends, Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his worksmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we could so that we would walk in them. For whatever my opinion's worth, I believe I believe that that verse basically teaches us that the primary reason that we exist on this earth is to be prepared for heaven. We are here to learn to be more like Christ so that we are prepared to live in heaven with God. Friends, I pray that you will accept the Lord Jesus Christ in your Savior and you will spend the rest of your days learning to be more like the Lord Jesus Christ so that you too will be prepared for heaven. Friends, here in the Mid River area, the water is no cleaner. In fact, I think the water here is even dirtier than it was upriver. And I've heard in satellite imaging shows that the Trenton Channel is just blown out. Hey, so those of you guys that didn't make it out this weekend, I wouldn't feel too awful bad about it. It's going to take a few days for this river to clear up. And the fishing reports seem to be the same up and down the river. Guys are still struggling to catch fish. My buddies and I fished this morning for four hours and put one fish in the boat. And in that four hours, we only saw one other fish caught. But hey guys, the, the, the water clarity is terrible up and down the river. It's just really, really murky. Even when you can find slightly cleaner water, it's not clean, it's, murk, it's still murky. And the water temp is even colder today than it was midweek. This cold front that we've been dealing with has the water temps back to 36, 37 degrees. According to the weather forecast, we're looking at 60 degrees for the better part of next week. And with, a, with the right wind directions, this river ought to clean up a little bit. And I think by next weekend, things will be a lot better looking out here. Hey friends, once again, I wanna thank you guys for 
all of your supportive Team Jesus Outdoors. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for clicking the like button. Thanks for subscribing. And I especially want to thank you guys that support us on Patreon. If you felt led to support Team Jesus Outdoors on Patreon, you can go to our YouTube homepage and you'll find the Patreon button in the upper right hand corner. Or you can go to our website, teamjesusoutdoors.com and you'll find a link in the upper right hand corner. You click on that link and you can follow a link there to our Patreon account. So hey friends, the story for walleye fishing on the Detroit River on Saturday, March 20th is basically this. The river is still really cold. The river is still really dirty. Walleye fishing is still really, really slow. If you guys didn't make it out this weekend, you aren't missing anything. We need this water to clear up a little bit. We need this water to warm up a little bit. And the fishing will just get dynamite in the next couple of weeks. Temperatures forecast next week in the 60s is going to help things out a lot. So friends, get those boats ready. Get your gear together. It's just about that time when the fishing is going to get good. But hey friends, thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Please make sure to click that like button. Please make sure to click subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you get all our posts. And friends, thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. God bless. Tight lines. We'll see you guys on the river. So that's the color that got them, huh? That's it. Purple jig with a finesse black back silver body.